Hi everyone, it is Barbara and welcome back to my channel, Country Lily DIY Decor. I am super excited about today's thrift flips, so let's get started on our very first project. I was so excited a few months back to be able to find two of these wine carafes for $1 a piece. Now I've already repurposed one of them, so now it is time to repurpose the second one. After giving it a good thorough cleaning, I'm going to go over this with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to get any smudge marks off and to really make sure that my paint will adhere to this glass better. Using Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer in the color Matte White. Now I get this from my local Lowe's. I'm going to give this two coats of paint. When spray painting, I like to put on one thin coat and allow that to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then come in with the second coat. And then I allow it to dry overnight before I handle it to do any more type of DIYing or decorating. I did make sure that I painted this entire carafe, including the inside top part of the rim as well as the bottom. Using my favorite black chalkboard craft paint, which I get from Dollar General, as well as a wet baby wipe, I'm going to go around the rim of the top of this, and I'm using that baby wipe just to give me a little bit more precision in my placement of the paint, and I also wanted to be able to bring out that design in the front. To um, get a little bit more placement, if you don't have a baby wipe, you can also use a Q-tip. And then I'm using one of the stiff brushes from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to dry brush over this a little bit. Originally, or in the beginning, I'm going to dab a little bit to give it a little bit more of a rust look. And I'm doing this in a few areas, and I will darken that up just a little bit more. I also went around the rim at the bottom where I thought that it would look a little worn out. And then I'm going to dry brush right there in the design in the middle that says since 1852. Now I found that a shorter, stiffer brush brought that out a little bit better. And then I am also going to use my Waverly White chalk paint to touch up that one little area where the baby wipe kind of smeared a little bit further over than I wanted it to. And then after that dries, I can dry brush over that area to blend everything in nice and well. And then I did darken up the rim just a little more with some dry brushing and I styled it with some eucalyptus leaves and these are so beautiful. I love how this turned out and I hope you guys like it as well. Today's video is part of a collaboration which is hosted by the beautiful and talented Liana, as well as some wonderfully amazing talented ladies. I will have a link to the playlist in my description box below so that you can go over and see all these wonderful thrift flips that the ladies have made for you today. Now for project number two, I found this gorgeous picnic basket for $1, and I was so excited to find this. Anytime I buy anything from a thrift store, yard sale, Goodwill, I always make sure that I give it a good thorough cleaning, and I'm just using a damp cloth to wipe everything off of this before I give it some paint. And I'm using that same spray paint that we did in project number one, which is the matte white Krylon Fusion, and I painted this entire piece, and it took uh, maybe a half a can. I was running low, so on the inside, I did not was not able to get it completely covered. You can see just a little bit of bleed through on the inside, but that's okay because I'm going to be putting something inside of this basket. To give it a little bit of color and not be so stark white, I'm using some of this Buffalo Check Ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to go around the inside rim or the top part of the rim on both sides. I found it easier to apply the hot glue at the bottom part. And then my sweet friend, Wendy, I've seen this on her channel at White Sparrow Living, uses this spatula type silicone thing for the hot glue, as well as a few of my subscribers have told me about it as well. And this thing comes in so handy, you don't have to worry about burning your fingers, and you can flatten everything out. So thank you guys so much for that tip. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I've never seen them before, but I actually found mine last week, so I scooped up two of them. 
but I'm going around the bottom part of this top rim of the basket and then applying the ribbon. And once I get the bottom all the way around, then I can go back in and glue the top part down. This is just the way that I found it to be easier to do. And I'm only gonna go right into where the basket folds over where those little hinges are. And then I'll go back around the top. So when I apply it to the top, when I get to the corners, I can just fold that down and then add a little bit of hot glue to hold that in place and give it a nice tight fit. So I'll just crease the corner over just a little bit and put a little bit of glue there and then fold it down. And I will continue to do that around the entire top part of this ribbon to get everything glued down and nice and in place. Once all of that is in place, I'm gonna add this to the other side of the basket as well. And I did make sure that I lined my, because mine is Buffalo Check print, I wanted to make sure that when it closes, the um, print matches each other. So I made sure I lined everything up so it would be nice and pretty when you close the lid. Now I wanted my basket to just look like flowers were just bursting or growing out of it just to use as a piece, a deck decor piece. So to style this, I'm gonna be using some boxwood greenery from Walmart. Now it is really gorgeous just the way it is and you could style it anywhere in your home. But like I said, I just wanted mine to look like flowers and greenery were just growing from it. So I'm using some boxwood greenery from Walmart, a pick from Hobby Lobby, two lavender picks from Walmart, as well as a few little baby's breath that I cut off of the bundle from Dollar Tree and just place those in there. And then you can just set the lid down and it just transformed this piece. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this one turned out and I really hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of project number two. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you are enjoying today's DIYs, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube will notify you the next time I upload a brand new video. And also visit me on Instagram, my website for free printables, and my Pinterest board. Let's go ahead and get started on project number three. Now this beauty was sitting on the bottom of a shelf in my local thrift store and at first I wasn't quite sure what it was but I liked the way it was shaped. Once I picked it up and I saw the cord on the inside I knew that this was a charging station. I did a little bit of research and realized they're selling this on Wayfair for $48.99 and I was able to pick mine up for $3 so I thought I got a really really great deal. It was in really good shape. I'm going to give it a really good cleaning and disassemble it to make sure that all the parts of it are nice and clean. And I'm also going to be giving this a nice coat of paint. Now the surge protector that's in the back is actually screwed in. So I'm just going to remove that and I will wipe that down as well because it was a little bit dusty and clean the inside of the back of the housing of that where it was holding that surge protector. Once everything has been cleaned, I am going to go over it with a paper towel to dry it off as well. Now I wanted to paint this cute little handle, so I'm going to remove that so that I will be able to paint that in a different color as well as completely paint this drawer insert. And this is the backing. Now after everything has dried, I'm going to go over it a little bit with a very fine grit sandpaper. This is going to really help my paint to adhere better, but also if there's any kind of grime or rough spots, I can sand those down before I paint it. And always after I sand things down, I like to wipe it off just to make sure I get all of the grit or grime off of it. I'm using the same spray paint that I have used in the previous two projects, as well as some matte black for the hardware and that is also made by Krylon. I'm going to give this actually took three coats because that is a darker color wood and again I just let mine dry for about 10 or 15 minutes before I add the next coat so that it's dry to the touch and then I allow it to dry completely overnight. Now I did paint this entire piece including the bottom 
And what a transformation that just a simple coat of paint or a couple of coats of paint can really give a piece. This is just a little bit more of my style than that darker wood. To paint the hardware, I just put the screws into some cardboard to hold it in place and gave those one coat of the matte black. I went over to Cricut Design Space and create a design that I thought would be um, really pretty on the side of this charging station. Now, anytime I create something, I always try to have a free printable, and I do have this on my website for you to download, and then you can trace it onto your project. I know that not everyone has a Cricut, so I like to make that available for you to be able to trace and use for your um, DIYs. Now I'm just gonna place this on the side. And if you are new to using a Cricut, you just put it on there with your transfer tape and then you burnish it down really, really well because this has a lot of little nooks and crannies in there. I have to keep burnishing it to make sure everything stays in place. And then I make sure that I press everything down and that it's nice and sealed on there. Now I can reinsert that um, surge protector and just screw that back into place and then feed the cord back in there. And then it has a little notch where you can um, hide all your little cords and stuff. And then I can reattach the hardware on the front. And I think this really, really turned out beautiful. It really fits my decor a lot better than it did when I purchased it. And for $3, oh my goodness, this, this piece just turned out so pretty and you can set all kinds of beautiful decor on it. I hope you guys liked this project. If you have a favorite, please let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I always like to know. And also please make sure to go check out the playlist to see all these beautiful thrift flips that everyone has created this week for this um, collab. Thank you guys so much. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time.